Alright, what's up, YouTube? It's Cool Story Bro back here bringing you the 21st narrative Wi Fi battle. This one's against somebody I found off the Smoke on Battle Finder named Mega Man X Zero. And yeah, it's another UU battle as you can see here. I got my good old favorite team. And on his team, the number one thing I'm worried about is that Suicune. That one right there. See it? See it? Now, the reason I'm worried about it is because if it's Krakoon, the set with Rest, Sleep Talk, Scald, and Calm Mind, then he can pretty much threaten my entire team and possibly take it down if I don't get rid of it quick enough. But let's get into this. He leads off with his killer, his hair cross. Uh, an interesting decision to lead off with it. I was expecting Az Elf, so I switched Silet with Blastoise to rapid spin, but I switch out to Gligar because Gligar walls hair cross in every single way. He knows this, and he withdraws to send out his Rick Rouse, boss, Blastoise. And I knew he's gonna switch out, so I used Toxic to start poisoning him. I'm gonna be doing a lot of poisoning this battle, so heads up. And just after I send out Umbreon, because it can take anything Blastoise uses, and it can just stall him for damage. And even if he uses Toxic, like he's gonna attempt to right here, I can just heal bell myself. So he misses his Toxic. I try to use Toxic again, expecting him to switch, but. I know he's going to try to stay in just to poison me because he's that desperate, even though Umbreon has Heal Belt, so poisoning it's kind of a bad idea if you don't have a way to really take it down. And I went for a Protect just to stall him for more HP damage, and then I withdraw and send in Gligar, because like I said, he's desperate to poison me. Gligar's ability is immunity, so it doesn't get affected by Toxic, and I went for, what did I do? I go for Earth. I went for Earthquake right here because I wanted to wear his Blastoise down so it would die from poison. I was confident he wasn't running Ice Beam and I know I could take a Scald, but he switches back out to Heracross for whatever reason. And you know, I'm thinking, uh, is he running Guts Heracross? That, even if he is, I can still handle him. So I'm taking the Mega Horn, and I go for another Earthquake, expecting him to switch out already. He doesn't switch out. I got a little critical hit there. Did a nice amount of damage, and he sends out his Say What? It's Togekiss, and that's kind of an interesting play on, it's kind of a good play on his part, but he withdraws again and sends out Killer. I didn't withdraw because Togekiss can't do anything to me except Air Slash, and I might not flinch, so I figured it would be a good time to roost and get my health back. He goes for a Stone Edge, and even with the critical hit here from Stone Edge, it does not do much to Gligar, so I'll poison him, confident that he's not running Guts. And he just keeps trying to stone edge me, and based on the damage output, he clearly isn't running guts, so he must be having Moxie hair across. And he's obviously choice scarfed, so he's really not gonna be doing anything at all. He kinda sacked his hair across way too early. Lost his choice scarfer. So he withdraws and sends out Blastoise now. Because, you know, I'm guessing he decides that he might need hair across to one hit something before it dies. And he goes for rapid spin to get rid of my stealth rock. A good play on his part. The poison kills off his Blastoise before I could try to attack again to get my rocks back up. And he sends out Suicune. I was expecting the Krakoon set that I just mentioned earlier, so I knew I could take a Scald, or if he tried to Calm Mind, I could poison it and get my, and then eventually get rocks back up, but he Ice Beams me, so he's running a completely different set. So he goes for a Calm Mind here, he's at plus one. I go for the Toxic on him, and uh, I kind of forgot that this offensive Suicune he's using here has Hidden Power Electric because you know I, I didn't really consider that set but he gets the critical hit on me I know I could have lived it I know I could have lived it from plus one assuming that he's running max HP and defense which I'm pretty sure he is and I send all my Ombre on because it has a ton of special defense so even at plus two from Calm Mind he's still gonna have trouble trying to take down my Umbreon. and now I go for a wish because I know I'm going to take a hit, but I know I can live it. He goes for a hydro pump, and look how much damage that did from plus two. So he has no special attack investment. Any attack power he gets is coming from Calm Mind, and I heal up from wish. He's getting worn down by Toxic. He withdraws his Suicune and sends out Air Cross again, and I went for another wish just to take any, just to take my health back. And I, I know it's kind of dumb that I protect it from full HP, but especially when I had wish, but I wanted to be safe and I just wanted to let Heracross die already. So he sends out his Azelf, which is clearly on my right, and he goes for Stealth Rock, and I kinda can't get rid of it now because my Blastoise is dead. So I toxic his Azelf, because like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of poisoning in this video. He goes for the U-turn after I protect it, because I know he's gonna try to do it. It did a nice amount of damage. Umbreon has no physical defense, so that's why I protect it from close combat. 
So I go for the Toxic on his Verizion because I knew he's going to switch to something else. And I wanted to wear it down. I was expecting maybe to Calm Mind substitute Verizion or maybe Calm Mind and 3 attacks Verizion. But he actually surprised me by going for Swords Dance. So it's a physical Verizion. So he's pretty much going to be able to keep the pressure up on me with the threat of close combat. And he knows I have to protect right here and just to be safe. And he goes for another Swords Dance. So he's at plus 4 now. And I get my health back from Wish. And I tried to be a douche and go for a double protect, but it didn't work. <laughs> And he leaf blades me from plus four. I honestly think I could have lived it. I think I could have lived it. I was trying to go for another wish, but he got the critical hit, so it took out my Umbreon. I go for stay fly, my fly going. I could have fire punched it just to make sure I killed it, but I decided to U-turn. And I got the critical hit here. Even if I didn't get the crit, the um the poison from Toxic would have worn it off. Harbinger would have been able to take a leaf blade, maybe. From plus four, just maybe. It would not have been able to get close combat, but either way, Verizion is dead. So he sends out his Togekiss again, and I don't want to get paralyzed by Thunder Wave, so I send out Stay Fly. He goes for Aura Sphere, so I'm really glad that I switched out right there. And his team, he only has two Pokemon left, and none of them are Steel types or that bulky. So I know I can hammer him with Outrage and put some holes in his team. So I get him, um, I go for Outrage. He comes close to KO my Flygon with Air Slash. Because of the fact I'm Scarfed, I'm going to outspeed. Oh, and he had three Pokemon left, my bad. And luckily, I got a three-turn Outrage. So I pretty much took out two Pokemon with Flygon from low HP. And I decided to switch it back out as he sends in a Suicune, because it's his last resort. And now, even though Flygon's health is low, because of the fact that it resists Stealth Rock, I'm not worried about taking damage from sending it back in. And pretty much, I'm just trying to use Harbinger to stall it a little bit. Even if he manages to get past Harbinger and somehow gets past my flag on, I have Haunch Crow in the back to finish off what's left of his Suicune. So this is kind of a checkmate position. He misses his Hydro Pump after a Calm Mind. He goes, I go for the Hidden Power Grass. It does a nice amount of damage, so he has no special defense investment, even with the Calm Mind in. So the Poison's got him in KO range. He gets me with the Hydro Pump. That kills off my Harbinger, and I send in Stay Fly for the big finish because you know you gotta stay fly all day, even when you're beating the opponent. And like I said, this is pretty much a good game right here. I go for the Outrage, the big finish. Flygon's dead. Haunch Crow didn't even have to set foot in this battle because it was too real. And yeah, good game, Mega Man X Zero. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do whatever. I'm kind of glad he had the offensive Suicune because if his Suicune had rest. He could have healed off of Toxic and it would have been, that would have been the main reason why I would have been scared of it because my team does a lot of residual damage to opponents like how I just did here. So yeah, it's kind of a good thing that he decided to be more offensive with it. He made a few questionable plays early in the game, but it's whatever I guess. Um, stay, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day.